big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Hope everybody's riding safe out there. The weather's starting to break out here on the East Coast. It snows one day, and the next day it's riding weather. It's it's crazy out here. But today we're gonna talk about the topic, the difference between an outlaw motorcycle club and a one percent club. A OMC and let's not confuse this with the outlaws MC let's not confuse this with what is an outlaw biker that's a whole nother conversation you know people like to claim that title but we're talking today we're talking about strictly about the difference between the outlaw motorcycle club and a one percenter club so a one percenter is always in the outlaw motorcycle club but an outlaw motorcycle club is not always a one percenter and we're gonna break this down it's very simple actually. A one percenter has that one percenter or one percent diamond patch on their chest. A outlaw motorcycle club does not have that, a regular outlaw motorcycle club. So that's really the difference right there. The one percenter patch is the, the defining factor in the difference between a one percenter and an outlaw motorcycle club. Now, what is an outlaw motorcycle club? That one is difficult. It's not as easy as people would think because you know one percenters and outlaw clubs predominantly or harleys you know some will have racing teams within the club i've seen it before even diamond clubs where they have people on street bikes i call them street bikes yamahas whatever the way you prefer to call it sport bike now a outlaw club a one percenter club or non ama sanction that's the way it started off originally but it has evolved. Now in the beginning, if you were not blessed by the AMA, you were considered an outlaw motorcycle club. But nowadays, the COCs and, and diamond clubs are blessing clubs that are not outlaw clubs, regular clubs. So they're not AMA sanctioned, but they're not outlaw clubs. So just because you're not sanctioned by the AMA, technically, you're not an outlaw club. Now answering what an outlaw club is, is very difficult depending on where you live. Most of the time, an outlaw motorcycle club will have the three piece set up, the center patch, the top and the bottom rocker with the state, but it varies wherever you live. Don't hit me with the over here, it's like this. I understand that. Everywhere you live is different. You could have an outlaw motorcycle club that doesn't even wear a state or doesn't care about an MC. Most will have an MC. But you know, I have seen instances where there are certain outlaw clubs that they just do things differently. So it depends on where you live, what the setup is. Now, a lot of times, outlaw clubs are support clubs for the 1% clubs. A lot of times, not all of them. There are outlaw clubs that stand on their own. And a lot of them eventually put the 1% diamond on because they look at it like, well, we've been holding this territory down for this amount of years. Why shouldn't we throw that diamond on and command that respect in the area where we live? So you'll see outlaw clubs maybe 10 years ago didn't actually have a diamond and then now a lot of people want to verify that their club is is upper echelon so they wind up getting blessed or they wind up getting that one percent of diamond so you see a lot more clubs nowadays that that hold that one percent of diamond than back in the days with just the bigger clubs you'll have some one percenters that say if you're not in a one percent club you're not an outlaw and i don't know what y'all think about that tell me that in the comments i really don't believe that because obviously if you're in an outlaw motorcycle club that's not a diamond club you're in an outlaw club you know but there's a lot of different theories on that one so you know everybody has their beliefs the way they think about how things are supposed to be or how their vision is and sometimes that person will take over a diamond club or that person will take over an outlaw club and that's why they would eventually become a diamond club or or you know just in any form of fashion change the way their club is looked at vision is very important so understand the vision of a club before you get down with it, especially an outlaw club. If you're gonna get down with an outlaw motorcycle club, you gotta understand the vision and see who's running the show. How do they think? Cause that tells you the future of the club. When a national president, that spot switches hands, sometimes the vision of the club is completely different. So let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Follow us on Twitter, at Demons Row, at Sosta Ghost. Follow us on Instagram, at Demons Row, 
at SosTheGhost underscore. And thank you for tuning in to Sos the Ghost TV, which is sponsored by Demons Row, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.